Welcome back to your mat and your beginner Pilates series, Strong Foundation. Today's workout is all the best of the basics. You're gonna leave your mat feeling stronger and like you've got more room and space to take on everything that's coming your way today. So let's go ahead and get started. So taking a moment here, letting your arms be long by your side, take a couple deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just take this time, take these moments of deep breaths to allow yourself to come into being present on your mat. Sometimes we wanna rush through the workout or just get it over with, but I wanna invite you into just coming to a place of presence just for the next few moments on your mat. And allow your shoulders on this next inhale to rise up to your ears, just shrugging, and then exhale, pressing them down and away. Inhale, shrug, and exhale, let them glide back down on the mat. One more, inhale and exhale, letting those shoulders slide back down the mat, and then place your hands on your belly for a moment. Taking an inhale, see if you can actually inflate deep down all the way into your pelvis with that breath. And then exhaling it all out. Start at the base, and then find that exhalation just coming all the way through your body, up through your chest, and out through your mouth. Again, inhale, filling up the body, And exhale. Great. On this next one, place your hands on your rib cage. And as you inhale, try to inhale into the sides of your ribs. So almost like you're expanding an accordion. And then exhaling, feel those ribs knit back together. Great. This time, as you inhale and expand those ribs, try to keep the belly relatively still. Feeling that breath expand into the backs of your lungs. And then exhale. Well done. On this last round of breathing, I want you just to place your arms by your side. And as you inhale, I want you to feel almost a releasing in your pelvic floor. Just a relaxing, a settling in. And then as we exhale, I want you to draw the pelvic floor up. Exhale out all the air. Feel the ribs knit together, feel the belly draw in and up, feel that strength coming from your powerhouse. And again, inhale, just allowing there to be a softening. And exhale, feel that engagement from pelvic floor all the way up. One more time like this, inhale. And exhale. Great job. From here, let's take it into a little pelvic curl. I'm gonna walk my feet in a little bit closer to my backside. And I want you just to feel nice and heavy in your pelvis. As you exhale, rock the pelvis toward you, feeling your low back press into the mat, and then inhale, release the tailbone back to the mat. Exhale, so it's this little rocking sensation and inhale, releasing the tailbone. Just find your breath here, exhaling as you pull the pelvis toward you, inhale as you release it back to the mat. This is a great exercise. It, it doesn't seem like a whole lot, it's not super glamorous, but this exercise can do so much to relieve tension in the low back. So if you ever get achy in your low spine or you've sat at your desk all day and you need to just stimulate some blood flow, this is a great one to do. I love doing these at the end of the day or right before bed. And one more, exhale as the pelvis tips in. <sighs> Inhale to release, well done. From here, we're gonna just take it up a little bit further. So as you exhale, you come into that pelvic tuck, and then we just go a little bit further, starting to peel the spine away from the mat, one bone at a time, almost like you're lifting a pearl necklace up off of the ground coming up onto the backs of your shoulders. Now here we're being very mindful that we're not pushing all of that energy to our neck and our shoulders, but we wanna think about the glutes and hamstrings doing a lot of the work here and pulling us towards our feet. This gives us a strong foundation for our bridge and allows the neck and the shoulders to be free of being uh, potentially injured. As you inhale here at the top, feel the body expand, feel the strength in the backs of those legs. And then exhale, you're gonna melt your spine down, starting in the upper spine, right in between the chest, going through that sternum area, 
coming down through like that bra strap area, just slowly let it melt. Coming into the low ribs, lowering down through the mid back, the low back, really try to get every little vertebra down one at a time. Finally, that tailbone comes back onto the mat. Doesn't that feel good? I hope you feel that. It just, oh, it's such a great one. Take an inhale, exhale, begin to peel the spine up. We're gonna flow with it here. Pulling towards your feet, not pressing to your head. Arms are strong in the mat for a little support. Exhale, begin to peel the spine back down onto the mat. Try to find space. Imagine somebody's pulling your legs in the opposite direction of your head. So you're being stretched in the center. One more, exhale, rolling it up. Inhaling at the top. Exhaling, rolling it all the way down. One bone at a time with control. And we're gonna actually do one more, but we're gonna hold it up there and change things up a little bit. Exhale, begin to peel the spine, rolling all the way up. Pause, take an inhale. On your exhale, I want you to do is give me a tiny little lift. We're gonna lift our hips up an inch, hold. And again, an inch, hold. Little lift up, hold, up, hold. Squeezing through the bum, squeezing through the backs of those legs to keep the weight toward your feet as we go through these little pulses. You will feel this. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one more, exhale, take an inhale at the top, hold your form, and then exhale, slowly melt the spine down into your mat, feel that lengthening happening through the spine. I think of your spine sometimes like a bendy straw, and when you first stretch it out, <laughs> that's kind of what Bridge does, it re-stretches your spine for you. Settle in here, take a deep inhale, and let your arms be heavy by your side. Open to about a small V shape. As you exhale, I want you to bring the legs up into tabletop, and then lower them down one at a time. So we exhale, pick the legs up, inhale, lower them down one at a time. Great job. What we're watching for here, keep moving. I'm gonna talk you through it. What we're watching for here is that as the legs come up, our low back is not over hyper extending here. We wanna keep control through our center, through our powerhouse to bring those legs up. And this one, especially for beginners, can be tricky because you're gonna feel a lot of work in the fronts of your hips, your hip flexors. It's part of your core, so it's okay. But eventually you're gonna be able to transfer that lift to your center, to your powerhouse. You'll feel your exhalation kind of engage those muscles. And then it's almost as if those legs could just float up. Not a lot of effort. One more time like this. Exhale, stopping right at 90 degrees. Knee over the hip. If you've got a mirror nearby, that could be really handy to see your form. Not because we're vain, but because we're checking in to make sure that we're working with proper alignment. Now on this one, I want you to hold the legs up. I know we're almost done, stay with me. Hold the legs in tabletop, squeeze them together, and just hold. Feel the intensity of that work. Core is working hard, inner thighs squeezing, hip flexors are talking. We're working hard not to arch the back off of the mat. Take another five seconds, breathe. Three, two, one, and lower those legs down, well done. Rock them side to side, just get out of any tension there. Good work. From here, the legs stay down, they get a break. <laughs> Take your hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers. And I want you to just feel your head resting in your palms here. Your elbows, you should be able to see them from your peripheral vision, but they should not be closing in around your face. Feel how wide and open your collarbone is here. And then just gently think about letting your shoulders slide down away from your ears. This is like your perfect beach chill position, right? Or just hanging out and relaxing here. 
but we move on. <laughs> From there, I want you to take a breath. As you exhale, begin to nod your chin down towards your chest. Now notice I'm not lifting, I'm just nodding. Just chin activates down towards the chest. From there, I wanna think about squeezing my shoulders down towards my armpits and then folding my chest up and over my ribs to begin to lift the head, neck, and chest. And you will feel, or you'll hear my voice start to quiver a little bit in this position because it's a lot of work just to lift the body up with that form. Inhale to bring it back. Exhale, we start with the nod. Lift the head, neck, and chest. Really thinking about folding here, not here, not crunching into it. We wanna think about length, coming out first, so we're long first. Then the chin comes into the chest. We get a little bit longer, almost like we're going up and arcing our body. Chest folds over the ribs, belly pulls in, but we're not tucking or cramming our backs into the mat to get there. Inhale, let's do four more. Exhale, let the head be heavy in your hands. We're not forcing the head up. The head remains heavy. The abdominals do the work to lift. And inhale, two to go. Exhale, tuck the chin. Inhale, lengthen back. One more, I want you to stay up here for just a moment. Stay up, pause here, and see if you can give me a little lift. Up an inch and hold. Up an inch and hold. Feel the belly fire and then into that isometric hold. Tailbone is heavy. Try not to squeeze your butt here. You wanna keep that relaxed. Abdominals do the lifting. Abdominals are doing the heavy work. Three to go. Let that head be heavy. Can you get a little bit taller even here? One more. Exhale and lower it all the way down. Say hello to your abs. Take a nice deep breath in, reach the arms up, reach the legs out, feel everything lengthen on your mat. Arch the back, lift the chin, then flex the feet and flex through your wrists. And exhale, bring it back. So keeping your, um, your left knee bent, I want you to find that lengthened form on your mat just in that neutral spine. As you exhale, come back to your tabletop position. And from here, we're going to come into a soft knee. So we're not going to a full extension, but a soft knee for our hip circles. And we're gonna inhale, we're gonna allow the knee to drift across the midline. Then it's gonna circle down towards our opposite leg it's gonna open towards the edge of our mat and exhale, finding 90 again. So we go inside the body, circle down, around, exhale, back to center. Now we're gonna flow with this, but what I wanna talk you through is maintaining stable, or staying stable in your hips and your pelvis. What you'll notice is your body might want to kind of move with the leg, we wanna disassociate. We wanna think about letting the leg move without anything else in our body going with it. The exhalation is there to pull the leg back into center. This is a core exercise, you guys. You're not even doing a crunch. You're not lifting your head off the mat, but wow, are you working through your center. One more. And now let's reverse it. We take that leg outside towards the edge of the mat. Circle it down, come in towards the opposite leg, and exhale back to 90. So it's like you're drawing a little circle on the ceiling with your kneecap. Reach it around. I really want you to feel, even if you could straighten your leg fully, I'd, I wanna encourage you to keep it bent here. And the reason for that is I want you to feel how much you can just stir that thigh bone in your hip socket. This type of circular movement for our hips is so good for keeping them healthy. And I really want you to feel that before we move on and, and progress. And there's plenty of times that I still come back right here and lower the leg down. Whoo, did you feel that? I hope so. I felt that everywhere. Arms long, exhale, bring your leg to tabletop, soft extension. We start by drawing that circle to the inside. 
Go down towards the opposite leg, circle towards the edge of your mat, bring it back to 90 with your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And just flowing with this circle. Feeling the difference, right? When we move side to side or we do unilateral work, we're just working one side at a time. This is where you're going to notice some discrepancies in your body where one leg doesn't move the same as the other. One might feel a lot less intense. One might feel more intense. There's always going to be differences. That's normal. Our bodies are not completely symmetrical, even in our musculature. But here in Pilates, we're able to take a few moments and help to bring a little bit more alignment and a little bit more balance into our body. One more this way. Exhale and take it outside. So we're circling to the outside edge. Bring it in and up. Take it out, around, down and up. Use that exhalation. Getting a full circle. Focusing on that pelvic stability. One more. Exhale and lower it down. Well done. Now I want you just to come over onto your side here. So we're coming up onto our forearm. We're gonna get both sides, so don't worry about it. Doesn't matter which one you start with. And I want you to keep your knees bent here for me. As you exhale, think about picking up your waist here, squeezing your shoulder down towards your hip. So this foundation of hip bone and the elbow, that's what's holding you up here. That's what's your support. As you exhale, all I want you to do is think about squeezing hip towards shoulder and seeing if you can pick up that bottom hip away from the mat. Inhale, tap the hip back down. Good job. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, lower it down. Now what I want you to watch for here is that your elbow is pretty much under your shoulder. We're not going way over it and we're not way back here. We're pretty much in line. If you need a little assist on the lift, just take one hand to the mat and lift. Good. And exhale. We have one more like this. Exhale to lift, pause here, and float that top arm to the sky just for a little challenge. Look up towards your arm, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and take it down. Now before you move from here, I want you to bring your bottom knee towards you, your top knee sits off to the side. We go into one of my favorite stretches, which is mermaid stretch. You're gonna take hold of that back ankle or shin, opposite arm reaches out. Inhale, get really tall here through your spine. As you exhale, come into a, the most delicious side bend ever, really opening and stretching through your ribs and through your waistline. Reach that arm up long and far away from you. Inhale, bring it back. And exhale, take it to the opposite side reaching up and over, exhaling out all that air, and slowly bring it all the way up. And we'll go to the other side. Just do a quick flip. Knees are bent, and we're coming onto that forearm using the shoulder and the hip as our markers of squeezing those towards each other to help lift the side of our bodies away from the mat. So this is prepping us to have really strong shoulders, really strong um, waistlines and obliques to help get our bodies into that plank position. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you can place a hand on the mat or off, but we're going to lift the hips away from the mat and inhale, bring it down. Feel that exhalation, everything turns on to lift, inhaling down. The sensation is like you've got a sling around your hips. Every time you exhale, the sling lifts you up towards the sky, effortless, right? And inhale, bring it down. It's actually a lot of work. Exhale, keep that shoulder really strong. And what I mean by that when I say shoulder strong is the shoulder is not here. It's not sliding up to the ear. That's a very um, unstable shoulder position. We don't want that. So we want a really strong shoulder here, supporting us and keeping us safe. On this one, I want you to hold. Reach that arm up to the sky, just hold it. Really squeeze through the side of that waistline, 
Think about squeezing the shoulder toward the hip. Hold it for four, three, you've got this, breathe, two, one, and bring it down. Bring that bottom knee in, tuck the other knee off to the side, sit up as tall as you can here, make as much space as you need. Hand goes to shin or ankle, opposite arm reaches out, inhale. Lifting up first and then exhaling to the side, really opening through the ribs and the obliques and that waistline. Reach up and out through the arm. Inhale, fill up those lungs. Exhale, take it off to the opposite side, stretching in opposition. We're again thinking of opening through the waist, rainbowing through the ribs. Bring it all the way up with an inhale. And sit comfortably. You are done with your session for the day. Hope you feel stronger, more grounded, and ready to take on your day. I will see you back here for another one very soon.